go slip on a trip Hey besties, welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Kendall B. I am going to be heading to work today. Well, I mean not the whole video. I'm heading to work, but I'm on the way to work. Today is Tuesday and we are done with parent teacher conferences. That was the last vlog that I made. It was parent teacher conferences. It was a lot going on. I had about 18 parents to meet with and we got it done. I met with 17, so mission accomplished. My parents are happy. Um, that was probably the best feeling knowing that my parents were actually happy with me. Not actually happy. Mo just about all of them, all of them were happy with me. Nobody had really any complaints. Um, everybody said that their student loved me. So things like that made me very happy and feel good as a teacher. But this week is not, there's nothing huge going on this week, I'll say that. It's just getting a whole bunch of other things done off my to-do list, which you know how that goes. I'm not going to go too crazy about my to-do list because it's going to get done eventually. But I'm on the way to work. My car is kind of like defrosting a little bit, but... I'm on good timing. I think I'm going to stop at Starbucks and get me like my usual. I have my hair straightened, y'all. I got a silk press this weekend. So I don't have to worry about my hair. Because that's another thing of if I'm doing a braid out every night, I have to braid it every night or wake up and deal with it. But I got a silk press. And I love it. So this has been making my mornings super easy. I got a nice delicious lunch today with Brussels sprouts, organic chicken, bell peppers, and brown rice. Like, don't play with me. I cooked last night. But one thing is my yoga membership went out already in two weeks and it's supposed to last for a month because I went for two weeks straight and I kind of want to go again today, but I don't need to spend the money on it. So like, yeah. But other than that, I don't have any much, too much of updates. I am trying to upload my video about the parent-teacher conference. You guys have probably seen it already, but I'm trying to upload it. And the iPad is acting crazy, so I really need to invest in me a MacBook again. Because my last one got ruined in college. So, like, yeah, that's things I need to do. But I have been saving money, y'all. I've been saving money. I had um, sat down, my boyfriend help, helped me, he sat down and helped me like make a budget for my, you know, teacher paychecks. Like this is how much you should have each month. And I've been doing pretty good. Um, any money that I've spent, I've been making it back through nannying. You guys know I love nannying. So I will be nannying a little bit more again. Not a little bit more, just whenever I need it, whenever I feel like it, then I usually just hit, um, Nina's mom up to Nanny. I cannot see like this. This is dangerous. Yeah, that's when I usually hit Nina's mom up to Nanny, but she's gotten older, so it's a lot easier because she's almost three years old and we can have a lot more fun. It was always fun to me. It doesn't matter either way, but yeah, Nina's getting older and I've been babysitting more, nannying more, and yeah, that's just what's tea. It's March 7th. We go with the flow today. I am very much cramping and all of the above day two type stuff. So those are definitely harder. But I have on all black and red because ladies, if you know, you know day two type stuff. So, yeah. I don't have that much of many updates to share today. I don't know why. <coughs> I've been drinking these though. I don't know if y'all have seen these Karma waters. I've been loving them. They're probiotic waters with like 2 billion cultures of probiotics and they're super fresh because they stay right here at the top. The probiotics stay right in the top until you push the button and they fall down in the water. So fresh is, pro fresh is probiotics in the game right now. Get your um, Karma water and make sure you're hydrated in all areas. Thank me later. They're at Kroger. 
They have them at Kroger and Walmart, I think. I know they have it at Kroger, but I'm pretty sure they have it at Walmart, too. So, yeah, I'm going to head to work, and we'll see what's going on in the classroom. Like I said yesterday, well, yesterday I spent uh, probably about 15 minutes on my computer at home. Not usual for me. I do not do anything dealing with work at home, but I had to submit something, so... I put my computer out for like 15 minutes and got something done that would help me this morning. So, all I need to do is change my learning targets and get that the fun lessons for today going. Because yesterday was really good. But I am promising my students a pizza party this week if they are on their best behavior. Not best behavior, but I already promised them a pizza party. So, we're going to have that this Friday. Little Caesars, I'm assuming. So that'll be good. Yeah, so I'll catch y'all in the classroom. I don't think I have anything else to catch y'all up on, but welcome to the vlog. Make sure you like it. Y'all have been loving the vlogs. Um, so yeah, see y'all in a minute. <laughs> I just got in. I'm basically gonna get a few things um, prepared for today's lessons. I always write it down on this paper of what I'm teaching. <sighs> yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. In the classroom, I'm kind of like calm and quiet this morning just because it's super quiet in the school and I don't want to be heard but um right now I'm trying to figure out a new lesson starter for addition we are learning addition in kindergarten y'all talk about it um the progress so yeah we started off with counting now we're actually ad adding things to equal 10 which is amazing to see so i'm just trying to find an activity to start the lessons for this week <clears throat> um today we have clt where we basically share what we've planned for math so i just want to make sure everything is straight everything is good because <sighs> you never want to be up in there looking crazy like um i don't know why that link is not working or i don't know what that's about so I just like to double check before we actually have CLT uh, when my kids are at specials because just cover yourself, cover yourself. That's all that matters. So like, what am I gonna do? Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. And then also, yeah, I think everything should be fine. I don't have time today to like, get stuff done during planning because like i said we have clt so i just need to get everything done now and stop talking <laughs> screenshot one of these boxes and put it as the lesson i say lesson starter i'm saying like the active engage like the thing that gets the kids started before the lesson i'm pretty sure y'all do that if y'all teach right it's the active engage before you connect from the last lesson i don't know if we have the same terminology but um the active engagement is going to probably be this ask the student how many more circles until 10 if they already have three they will probably say three plus seven equals 10. yeah i don't know if that would work because that's not even adding that's just counting you see what i'm talking about um here's a good one yeah that's a good one here we go right here look different ones yeah i'm gonna do this one so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this and link this in the plans because this is exactly what i need and for the active engage, you don't want it to be anything like super boring or super like not engaging. You want to catch their attention with what you're learning. So <clears throat> I love to tell them like, oh, I have a game. We're going to play a game. We're going to try and trick you. And they get really. Um, what am I inputting? The link? This is why it takes me so long. I forget what I'm even doing. <laughs> 
Okay, so there we go. That's me being responsible and fixing something on the plans. And sorry, y'all, if I'm kind of like whispering. I just don't want to be too loud. I don't want everybody hearing me. Um, y'all know my classroom is like connected to other teachers. And I just wish we had more privacy. <laughs> All right, y'all, let me finish getting things done. And I will show y'all what I'm setting up for um, my students for morning meeting. And honestly, y'all be asking me tips for like lesson planning. And honestly, I don't think that I got it all together yet because I still be looking at the plans for like two hours trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And it's mainly because I be overthinking it. Like I be considering everybody on the team. Like, is that a good idea? I don't know. And also because I'm new, I feel like I don't know if I implement something new. It's tricky, but I'm not the best with lesson planning. But if I had those to plan for just my students, <clears throat> or if we had like a lot more freedom with lesson planning, I will. I feel like there are so many rules that I'm probably going to break a rule. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and find something. Today's only Tuesday, too. So, like. So like, 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 like. Okay, Kendall, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what we're basically learning in module today. And yesterday is kind of like a flex day where, um, you know what flex me like a flexible lesson so we are reading the book the three billy goats gruff i love this story um and yesterday we read it and identified how the characters are similar or different there are three goats that wanted to cross the bridge and two of them said eat my brother and one of them was brave so we're comparing and contrasting that but today since i don't want my kids to be you know annoyed with it or bored so i'm going to act it out or have them act it out as i reread it to make it kind of fun and let me sit y'all down i honestly do that a lot where i act out the letter sounds that i'm saying like if i'm saying M -m monkey i'm in front of the classroom acting like a monkey or acting like a giraffe or whatever it is but i really feel like acting things out gets them a lot more engaged because you're being silly and two it's more of a visual for them and especially for my english language students so i'm definitely gonna be acting it out today um and then what else are we doing remember what happens they need to retell me what happened after i acted out which i'm sure they will be able to but i really like talking about books or like discovering and breaking apart books with them because i feel like we don't get a lot of that this is the activity we're going to do with it where they basically tell me what happens first and of course i'm gonna stress for them to color it beautifully okay I usually do um, I usually keep one paper to do a model for my students I literally model just about every assignment so I'm probably gonna color and cut mines out and have it on the ladybug on the board and then they'll have their own um, and I basically do that just to help yell students because I have some students that don't fully know English so just showing them what I expect of them definitely helps a lot a lot Okay. Oh, and I also want to show y'all what I'd used yesterday. So what we're doing for module skills block is kind of like our phonic. And, um, we had a warm up drill yesterday, which is basically where we just go over the letter sounds and the alphabet identifying. Yeah, so we usually do this every day in phonic. What I out yesterday was I used these little cubes. I used this little dice, and I basically wrote letters on it, and we were in a circle and just tossed the dice and made the sound of the letter so I think we're gonna do that again today but it was kind of erasing so it's okay I know what I wrote and that's the whole thing you just got to improvise like as a teacher things gonna go wrong during your lesson but you just got to improvise and think fast especially when you got kindergartners looking at you for the next answer 
we're gonna do letter M so yeah I would just have them roll it and make the sound of the letter and then pass it to a friend so we're gonna do that again today like that Today's going really well. Um, like I said, when I feel good, when I look good, I feel good. I love my hair, you know, all of that contributes to my day. But we just got done with skills block and we basically um, and are working on getting their sentences together because my kids are able to sound out words, mainly three letter words and four letter words right now, which I'm so proud of. Um, like if I give them a word and say, can you spell the word can? They will sound out each of the sounds and I'm loving that. So I'm trying to get them into writing those sentences in their writings. So I had my clerk work with them on that and I worked with them on, let me show you. I worked with them on this and this is basically just um, something that I ordered for the class for um, identifying letters or even just sounding out words so I wrote down some sight words and had them point them out to me or read them for me um, and these are just some of our sight words so I love this little thing that I got it's a magnetic little board um, and then for module like I said we used this for letter sounds I kind of switched it up today to make it a little different and I decided to draw pictures on it and they were supposed to tell me like what sound each picture went with. So we had the house, bear, they kind of erased even though I used a Sharpie, cat. And I think I had a flower. So this was kind of fun to do as a whole group. Um, it is lunchtime, so I'm probably about to go and grab my lunch. I'm definitely going to go grab my lunch. I'm so excited for my lunch because like I said, I cooked dinner and I know I was talking about my edges were coming out and probably a few vlogs ago but the main thing was I needed to get back on my vitamins because I was taking this I originally was taking this um prenatal but I had stopped and I got back on it so now my edges are going back I'm thinking it was like a deficiency like I probably was low in one of my areas without knowing so that's probably why my edges were coming out but now they're growing back. I believe so. Yeah, they're definitely growing back. So that's amazing. Um, I'm about to go get my food. I'm about to go get my food. And I'm not eating lunch with them today. So I'm going to be eating lunch alone. Yes. And I'll be right back, y'all. My hair is very, very curled because I pin curl it every night. So the curls still have not dropped. Um, I feel like I'm all over the place, but let me go eat something. Don't stop on a trip. 